All I need is whiskey, Texas, and you. Hey y'all, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. My name is Chuck Weimer. Hey, it's me, Thomas. How y'all doing? I love that. I love the way you introduce yourself that way. That's great. He does that on the phone too. Whenever I call him, he's like, "Hey, it's me, Thomas." And I call some places. I said, "Hey, it's me, Thomas," and they don't even know who it is. <laughs> they don't <laughs> even know. It kind of pisses people off. Like eight o'clock in the morning, you're calling for breaks. Hey, it's me, Thomas. They don't even know Thomas. But um, the the breakfast rush at McDonald's, you know. <laughs> hey, it's me, Thomas. Hey, it's me. Are you still serving breakfast? <laughs> I love it. Hey, today we're going to be doing another Garrison Brothers. I told you all last week if you pay, if you were tuned in and if you remember, uh, we're going to be doing the second of the Garrison Brothers uh, single barrels. This is single barrel B. <laughs> Good enough to make you whistle. He's got, he's got to do the, uh, the music in the background there. Um, so this is going to be food grade number one white. It's uh, from the farms in South Texas, June 2019. Barrel number 17,674 and bottle number 53. So as you can see, just like last week, we haven't even uh, pulled the, so you guys know this isn't the same one. All right, that smells pretty good too. Okay. Does it smell like Alabama on a Friday in May? Uh, it smells like Texas, baby. Texas. I'm part of Texas. The stinky coastline, I like the hill country. It smells like fresh and brisk. It smells like high Texas. <laughs> Amaral. For those that don't know, Garrison Brothers is located in high Texas. If you ever get a chance, go out there. You can even get a little tour of how they uh, how they do all their stuff out there. Like so, Am Amarillo. Amarillo? Amarillo. Amarillo. Okay. All right. So, we've got this single barrel batch B. We're going to give this. Uh... What's your last name, Chuck? Wine. There it is, right there. Yeah, just like that. Embossed uh, wine with shot glasses. <laughs> you know, my son got me a uh, whiskey glass as well, and it uh, it says, "I'm the reason Dad drinks" or something along those lines. <laughs> it's accurate lately. It seems like he's a good kid. Good boy. Oh, that's a little different. bit more mellow. Yeah, that's actually that's a lot more mellow. Very. The other one kind of tastes like some Tyler Childers might like to drink. It's real strong. This one kind of more mellow. More of an Aaron Watson kind of drink. Yeah. Or a Josh Abbott band. I don't think it's that mellow. <laughs> I think it's more like a Waylon Jennings. This is mellow. good. This yeah. is actually really good. Like this is... Um, it's a lot different. When you're... Uh, I mean, Christmas has already passed, but this, is, this would be... I kind of wish we would have cracked this open before Christmas. Um, this would be kind of that, that Christmas sipping whiskey while everybody else is, you know, slamming back the seltzers like Jamie or the beer or the vodka or whatever. Um, Jamie doesn't drink beer, but the other two, she's all over them. Any seltzer companies? Um, we're looking for a sponsor for the band leader, mom, manager, Jamie <laughs> Weimer. We're uh, big fans of Barrel A and Barrel B. We did Barrel A last week. This is Barrel B. What do you think? Which one was the better? I like this one. You like the B better? It, I think I like it a little bit better as well, just because it's a little bit smoother, right? Just yeah. maybe is that is that the right word? Is it smooth? I don't know. It it, it definitely is a more mellow um, sipping whiskey. So, like I said last week, for those that didn't tune in last week, you can always go back and watch it. But I did say that the one we prefer is going to go into the decanter. So this is the new decanter I got for Christmas. Wine decanter looks like full. So remember everybody that is single barrel B in case anybody starts asking in the, uh, in the comments. Short section. for be real. Be real. All right, Thomas, tell us what song you got this week. We did Highway Kind by Josh Abbott Band. Yeah, Josh Abbott. I thought this was okay. a nice mellow tune. Um, I think it's pretty on par with a lot of Josh Abbott stuff I've heard. It sticks to their sound. I think it was pretty obvious when the song was playing that it was them. Yeah. You know, his yeah. voice pretty distinct. And uh, I liked it, man. I thought that it had a nice vibe to it. And um, a lot of the, the drum parts, they complemented like the melody. It was just a well put together song. Yeah, it was one of those things that wasn't going to make you sit there and try and figure out what's going on in the song. Like you can just, you, you're just going to just groove with it. Yeah. You know, it was, a, it was a nice, relaxing, chill song. Um, I'm not sure when they put it out, but you know, clearly they put it out at the right time because they were in the top five on all three of the major charts. They had the, uh, T3 rate, uh, T3R rate, uh, 
Texas Regional Radio Report, the T3R, the uh, Texas Country Music Association chart, the TCMC, and also CDX uh, Traction Texas. Uh, so they were in the top, uh, the top five on all three of those charts, the top 200 songs of the year. And uh, one of the things that we identified was there wasn't a whole lot of the top five. There, were, there weren't very many in the top five that actually were on the top five on all three. I mean, probably um, did. yeah, a couple of the number, they were number one, I think, on T3R. I might be mistaken. No, it was T3R. They had like 26,000 spins on uh, Texas Regional Radio Report, which was, uh, that's pretty impressive. And then, uh, yeah. So we thought that uh, they they should probably be the ones that we we mentioned this week, and I know that it's not a new song. We typically try and go with the newer songs. So since this is the first week of the year, we wanted to make sure that we recap last year, and we didn't want to overdo it by doing that too many times. So um, yeah, so for 2022, Josh Abbott Band was in the top five on all three of the major charts, and we we're real happy to to see their success. Yeah, I think that'll lead us into what's your name. Where you at? Well, throw it on the wall, Jamie. Do you suffer from restless love syndrome? If so, you may qualify for CWM. CWM is a product that has been known to have an immediate effect on such maladies as the Nashville blues and bro countryitis. CWM can take you anywhere from over here to those cozy campfires where he can see the fire in your eyes. Made from the long thought lost Desert Rose and mixed with a little whiskey, Texas, and you, it'll have you dancing in the rain feeling better than I am. It really is a home run. It's Christmas time again. Don't wait. There's not enough sand in the hourglass to let this remedy slip by for another second. Get your free sample of CWM today, and you'll be saying, if he's not going to love you, I will. Side effects may include happiness, sadness, feelings of euphoria, spontaneous dancing, uncontrolled singing, and joy. Thank you so much, Jamie, for putting that out there. We appreciate it. Uh, for those that were paying attention, that was a little bit of a commercial that we did for UvaldiRadio.net. Um... They asked us to put some stuff up, and we chopped off the tail end, which was, it was really Christmas-oriented, uh, but I had so much fun just making that little, um, what I guess, uh, medication. <laughs> use the tail anyway, like them tailless cats that are in fashion right now. You know, if you've got the Nashville Blues or Bro Country-itis, you know, that's uh, CWM, Chuck Weimer Music, is definitely going to be the cure for you. And, and the then, cat's missing uh, his tail also, that would help you feel better. And then, of course, you got t TJM. Thomas Jones music, which is going to be coming out here pretty soon. He's a uh, wiki wiki word. Yeah. <laughs> Little mall rats right there. Uh, he's getting ready to go back in studio and uh, finish up the CP that he's been working on. But uh, I think he's going to start releasing some singles here pretty soon. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, check out that's that kind of stuff. It's it's Texas country. You know, it's red. I, you know what? I think it's time for your favorite segment. Just the tips. It is my favorite segment. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> What's your tip? On this week of Just the Tips, I would like to talk about keeping your strings clean because nobody likes stinky fingers. Uh, it's very important. Come on, guys. How am I going to do funny stuff if my team can't keep it Oh, no, no. Clean? Keep going. This is all recorded. <laughs> this is going to be on there. Me laughing about stinky fingers. It's very fingers. important. <laughs> Not, stinky fingers are a side note, but very important that you keep your strings clean because they tune better. Chuck's always talking about how the G string on his guitar um, kind of wants to be in tune, kind of doesn't, and it's because the G string is barely wound. Uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, um, on acoustic guitars, the E and the B string are just a piece of metal, and on the G, the, the A, the D, and the E, the low E, they're wound, but the G has barely any winding. And so I've noticed that if you keep the G string clean, it sounds a lot better. And so that would be my tip is to keeping the strings clean, particularly the G string. Uh, what products can we use to keep the strings clean? I like Diodario and Planet Waves. They sell little spray bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, very important. Don't spray them on your guitar. Spray them on a cloth that comes with. Yeah. Yeah. And then it goes, shh, 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 and it kind of makes like a weird, a weird sound that kind of hurts your ears. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. And uh, I kind of like to wrap the cloth under and just carefully just kind of like this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, one of the things I want to say is uh, be careful about what you're putting into your body when you're about to perform. Uh, so for me being a, a front man, uh, that's the guy who's up front singing and doing, doing the thing, um, I can't 
miss some lyrics and notes and whatever. I can't be up there burping and and having a hard time trying to get the, the lyrics out because then the entire crowd's like, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah. Um, so yeah, be careful about what you're going to eat and drink. Uh, I recommend staying away from carbonated beverages. Uh, that definitely doesn't do any good for you. And if you're going to eat, eat something really, really light, uh, probably about an hour before you're going to start. Uh, personally, I have no gallbladder, so I can't eat anything because then we'll be taking breaks that we didn't need to be taking. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of my tip right there. Uh, one of the things I do also want to re just remind everybody is we have a new single that's coming out this week. Um, one more day is going to be going to streaming on the 10th and on the 13th, it's going to be going to radio. So if you want to support us, you can call your radio stations on the 13th and beyond and say, Hey, play Chuck Weimer's one more day. And if you want to support us on streaming, just go push play. You know? Yeah. You should already know where Chuck Weimer is at on the music, uh, on the music venues, right? On the, the Apple Music and Spotify and all that stuff. I like so, yeah. yeah. I, I just assume that everybody that's watching is already following. Probably. Uh, if you're not, go click the follow button. Come on, guys. Help me out there. Um, Whether you like us or don't, we're okay either yeah. reason. Just follow, please. And it always helps Thomas out, too, because, you know, the more we get spun, the better venues we get in, and the more he gets paid. So if you're a Thomas Jones supporter, y'all... Go spin that stuff. Do it for Thomas. Hashtag Do it for Thomas. free Thomas. And remember, if you treat your dreams like a hobby, they're just going to be dreams. So oh, go so out there and make something of yourself. In addition, be careful. Armadillos do carry leprosy. They do. I need a whiskey, Texas, and you.